Now, um, we will authenticate the user by the with the Power server, and it's the same with the AD ser server authentication. We need to add a user. The username must the same on the mail server. The mail server we already have a sign for username. So we need to create a user. The name is sign for. No password. Use the power free authentication. Click OK. And the user is not online now. We need to associate the IAM with the Power Free server. We choose Power Free server here and type the IP of the Power Free server. And that's okay. Let's log in the user first. Sign for one, two, three. Okay, we log in. Let's see the online user list. Okay, we are online now. And this is all of the external authentication of the IAM. Thanks for looking.